This video is about a couple more problems involving trig functions of an unknown angle. So my first, th first uh, problem says, given an angle through the point negative 3, 2, and to clarify that, an angle in standard position with its terminal side through the point negative 3, 2, find the six trig function values of the angle. So this would be an angle that is in quadrant 2 because I have to go negative 3 and positive 2. This would be the point that the angle is going through. So my angle is going to start on 0 like normal and its terminal side goes through this point. So here's the angle in question. I don't know what angle that is nor do I need to know what angle that is because I can find the six trig values without actually knowing the angle. I'm going to drop a perpendicular line directly down from the point. And the reason I'm going to do that is that allows me to know two sides of my triangle, negative 3 and 2. To find the third side of the triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'll just do that quickly because you guys all know how to do that. So we'll call that h squared for hypotenuse. So that's 4, 9, 13. So h is going to end up being the square root of 13. So there's the three sides of my triangle. Now all I have to do is find all the six trig values. So sine of theta is 2 over the square root of 13. If you rationalize the denominator, that would be 2 square root of 13 over 13. Cosine of theta is negative 3 over the square root of 13, or negative 3 the square root of 13 over 13. Honestly, if you leave it in the original form on these problems, I don't care. You don't have to rationalize the denominator tangent of theta is 2 over negative 3, opposite over adjacent. Now the reciprocals, cosecant of theta, look back at the original one and just flip that over. It's cosecant of theta squared of 13 over 2. That's the reciprocal of sine. Secant, the reciprocal of cosine, is negative squared of 13 over 3. It doesn't really matter that I put the negative sign in the numerator or the denominator. The fraction's still negative. That's the main thing and cotangent of theta, negative 3 halves instead of negative 2 thirds. So that's all there is to that problem. Um, just find, draw the angle, find the missing side, which in, in this case would be the reciprocal, and write the six trick function values. Now, given theta in quadrant 4 and cosine theta equals 1 fourth, find cotangent of theta. So now we're given some information, first of all, that theta is in quadrant 4. So I'm going to draw a quadrant 4 angle. It says cosine is 1 over 4. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is 4, and the adjacent side is 1. And I tried to draw that somewhat to scale. Now I just need to find the missing side. Be careful here. 1 squared plus, and we'll call this y since it's the y side that's missing, y squared is equal to 4 squared. Notice that the side I'm solving for is not on the opposite side of the equal sign now. So y squared is 16 minus 1 or 15, so y is the square root of 15. Now I have to think about that. I really should technically say y is plus or minus the square root of 15. And in this case, it would be minus the square root of 15. So be careful, because I'm in quadrant 4, that opposite side has to be negative. Now I want to find cotangent of theta. Cotangent of theta is adjacent over opposite. So cotangent of theta is 1 over negative square root of 15, or negative square root of 15 over 15. So those are the two other problems, types of problems that I want you to know how to do for this unit.